Hey you guys, what's up? It's Lala Living here and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got shot. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got friggin' shot. Look at this. This looks so good. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I achieved this look, how I got this gunshot to the forehead look and this wound. It's pretty easy, okay? First of all, it's really easy because I don't consider myself a really artistic person or, you know, a makeup artist, but this whole look, was so easy I cannot believe I even did it and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if you're not subscribed you want to subscribe like comment and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I post Halloween is right around the corner you guys so this tutorial is right in time and I'm gonna get you girls ready so stay tuned So first things first you guys, I'm going to do my foundation and I already did my eyebrows off camera. Um, I'm just taking my foundation and spreading it across my face and blending it in. I know it looks a bit orange and like not my skin tone but I promise you guys once it's on my face and it oxidizes like it becomes so amazing. I'm getting off. I'm singing a lot while actually doing my makeup. But um, I'm going to go ahead also with my concealer and I'm going to conceal my usual spots which are under my eyes, my forehead, the um, bridge of my nose, on top of my lip like the top area and then also my chin and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. Every day, every day, in So I hope you guys enjoyed my little, you know, rendition, but that's me all the time. I'm just listening to music, chilling, doing my makeup and stuff like that. But now going on with this tutorial, I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and I'm just going to pile it on top of my eyelash, like literally pile it on. I want to get it as pigmented as possible because I really want a bold, like dark look and I don't usually use um, eyeshadows like this. So this is me also experimenting. And I'm also going on top of the black with this silver um, type of shimmer eyeshadow that I also have. And this is giving it some type of pop, you know, it's also adding some type of contrast. And I'm not the best when it comes to eyeshadow. As you can see, it's a little sloppy. And that's why I'm going in with this concealer just to give it a more clean look that, you know, I did the tape method or something. But that's what I did. Then I cleaned it up a bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my mascara just to, you know, pop my eyelashes, make it look like I actually do have eyelashes. And then I'm going in with this glitter. It's this glitter, it's like silver, and I found it also in another palette that I had. I need to start wearing more of my eyeshadows because honestly, the looks ain't too bad. But I added this glitter on the top of my eyes and also the bottom lash line just to give it another pop. And then I'm going in with my eyelashes just to finish off the look. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going in with this highlighter and this is by MAC. This is the gold digger, I believe, and I'm just putting it on, you know, the usual areas, including the top of my lip. Now we're on to the fun part. This is where we're actually going to create the bullet wound. So like you saw, I'm using regular tissue paper and Elmer's glue and I'm just going to, you know, cut the tissue paper into a strip and then I'm going to roll it and roll it with my fingers just to create like a long, I guess, you know, stick of paper and this helps like shape the wound. So I'm just going to make a spot in the middle of my head like so that I could know where I'm going to do the actual bullet wound. And then I'm going to roll the paper together, like form a circle. And after I get it like that, I'm going to take some glue and I'm just going to glue the tips together so that it stays inside that circular form. So now that the circular form is complete, I'm just going to stick it on my forehead and it had a lot of glue on it. So that's how I got it to stay, but you could always add more glue onto it. And this is exactly how it looked. So now I'm going to take some more tissue paper and I'm just going to flatten it and fold it, well fold it and flatten it. And this is going to be what I'm going to use around the bullet wound to give it some type of, you know, scab look like my skin is coming up a bit. 
So I'm gonna add more Elmer's glue, then I'm just gonna place the paper around it. And that's what I'm gonna do all around the wound. So you can see me placing this one piece of paper down, tissue paper, and then I'm gonna go ahead with another piece and do the same thing and I'm gonna do it all around the wound. This step is so important, you guys. It helps add, you know, depth and it just makes it look more realistic. So I seriously would not skip this step. At this point, I'm just going to, you know, mold it and make sure it's the shape that I like. And I'm also gonna allow it to dry. And while it dries, you know, I'm gonna do my thing, listen to some more music, maybe eat a seaweed snack and just, you know, chill until it gets more hard and it's able to be painted over with my foundation. So now that I'm finished with my little break or whatever you guys, I'm going to take my foundation. I'm just going to cover up the wound that I made. This is going to make it like blend in with my skin and it's going to look like a real flesh wound and you want to make sure you get in the middle and coat everything you guys i did such a good job look at that you guys i did that yes i did that so now i'm going to go in with the same eyeshadow that i use once it's really dark color you guys like it'll work fine and this adds depth towards the you know wound and then i'm going to take some more tissue paper and i'm going to like place it in the middle of the wound this is gonna actually look like your brain. Like this is gonna be very fleshy once you take the fake blood, which I'm showing right here, and you dab it on top of the wound, and you're just gonna stack the blood and stack it. Make sure the paper becomes soaked in the middle, and then you're just gonna add excess to make it drain. You guys, this looks so gross. Oh my gosh, who shot me? Who shot me? <laughs> So you guys, at this point, you could actually just, you know, go crazy, go stupid. Just add as much blood, however, you know, like horrific you want it to look. Just do your thing. I just made one, like, you know, mean drain. And then I had a little side drain. And then I just put some more splashes on the side just to, you know, give it the effect that some splatter occurred. And so now I'm just gonna go in with my lip liner. This is my MAC current shade. Yeah, this is the current. And I'm just gonna line my lips. Then I'm gonna take my NYX, my NYX Red Butter Gloss, Intense Gloss. I'm gonna put that on my lip. And I really love like the blood with the lips look. It's so cute, you guys. It's so sexy. And I really think I did my thing with this look. I really think I did. So this is the final look you guys and I really like it. I think it's so cute. It's like the perfect glam but you know scary Halloween look. It was super easy and if you're someone like me not too comfortable using eyeshadows or you just don't use it a lot, you have no worries because it's Halloween. Like it's Halloween. You could do anything. It doesn't have to be too perfect or you know too glam. Anything kind of goes with Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, for staying with me while I complete this look. I hope it was really easy for you guys and that you try it out. Comment down below if you do try it out and tell me how it works. I will be doing a lot more tutorials, a lot more Halloween costumes, a lot more like cute but you know very scary Halloween looks. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on your notification bell so you will be notified every time I post. And I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.